stillness is particularly important. In the past, we've relied more on closed uh, systems of communication, television, broadcast, etc. These are largely one-to-many models of communication. And we, as members of the public, um, were largely receiving information and didn't have many opportunities to really talk back, to express our ideas and opinions, um, to, to express our knowledge and our creativity. So the internet's really changed all that, as we all know. It's empowered humankind, placing the power of communication back in the hands of individuals, the everyday man or woman. And this is a revolutionary development. Never before have we really been able to tap human creativity and knowledge in the ways that we now can using internet technologies. The internet's a hotbed of innovation in so many spheres, commerce, art, culture, knowledge creation. It was openness that allowed the internet really to develop into the powerful communications medium that it is today. But it's obviously come a long way since the early days. The internet's now so central in everyday lives, so central to the global financial, economic, social, and cultural infrastructure that we have. It's too precious, too important to really be left alone, which is obviously why we're here today. We have to recognize that it's a powerful communications medium that can be used and indeed is used for harm as well as for good. We don't want the tool to be used to attack the values, goods, and systems that we hold dear and that we rely on. We don't want people to lose trust um, in the internet through feeling vulnerable to fraudsters and criminals when they go online. And this would undermine the very value of the internet as a network that really connects millions of people across the world. So we therefore have to work to promote and protect security online. And equally, we don't want people to lose their trust in the internet and its applications because they feel that their privacy is being violated, because they're not sure who is monitoring their online activities or who's gathering information about them and why. So privacy and security are incredibly important, but we have to be careful not to irre irrevocably damage the characteristics of the internet, its openness, its interconnectivity, that make it so powerful through policies that are perhaps very well-meaning, but maybe a bit misguided or disproportionate or even short-sighted, policies that place unnecessary controls and limitations on communication. So we have to be careful. We have to deal with all of these issues together.